before we end this video, I want to send a big shout out to Chris Bay for uh, making this custom Hellboy jersey. Now, Chris Bay is the guy I did the pace car for. The clevery is just crazy. Big shout outs to him. Thanks, Chris. On to the video. going on guys and welcome back to the channel so today <clears throat> this video is the documentary of uh of hellboy um what started hellboy why hellboy is the way he is um i've owned this car for 13 years and uh was started out as um just going to throw a little pulley on it and exhaust and just you know enjoy the car for what it is turned into what it is today so what caused it was there's a video on my channel all the way back it's called failure to success and that was the road from failure to success so what happened that night at Quaker, uh, Quaker Motor Spark or Motor Park or whatever you call it, quarter mile track. Um, I had a three four pulley, Speed Daddy headers, and I had a specific person do a tune. So he did the tune, and it wasn't tuned right, I guess. And uh, I swore up and down just from looking at the forums and looking at. People running 13 nines with a 3 4 pulley and headers and 180 thermostat. I just knew I was running 13s at night. Well, come to find out, it wasn't the case. I ended up running double back 15 fives, 89 miles an hour. And I got laughed at. My car was called a piece of shit. Why are you wasting your money on this turd? Get a real man's car. Um, all the front wheel drive names called in the book. Motherfuckers throwing st stuff at it. And I curled into a ball, man. Because even way before I drove, when this car was just, even before this body style, I always loved Grand Prix. And when this body style came out, when I first, I was working at a barber shop. I was 14 years old. Car and Driver Magazine. This was a concept. It was the G8 300X. And uh, when I seen them, I was just like, man, I hope those actually come out. Then they actually came out, and I was just like, ooh. And the first one I seen on the streets was a red GTP on 20s. And I was like, that is the most baddest-ass car I've ever seen in my life. I'll never be able to afford one. Here we are. And, and it's everything that I wanted. I wanted a red GTP, fully loaded, cool. Everything that a GTP in this year came out with, this is what I want. And that's what I got. So, now, that night I came home. I pretty much didn't talk to nobody for like two months. So, I bought me a 3800 Hayes book. And I started reading it, understanding it. And then I got a hold of uh, a specific uh, YouTuber. I'm not saying no names. But, uh. Got a hold of him. He ended up doing Hellboy's first build, which was a Nick Cam. I'm not going to go over how much money I spent, but I spent way too, way too much money. Long story short, I did 240, 290, and I was thinking I was going to do like 330. And I was highly disappointed. And the headers ended up sawing off the line off the rack and pinion. 
Hellboy caught on fire. Luckily, I had a fire extinguisher. And I saved him. And uh, when I went to the first meet ever with it in Michigan, when I came home, there's a, there's an idler pulley that the supercharger belt rides. There's a bracket. And then one of those bolts is a water jacket bolt. That bolt backed out. And I lost. Cool. I barely made it home. So there was some things that was done to this that motor that shouldn't have been done. And then that motor ended up taking a shit. So it was at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm not paying nobody to mess my car up no more. If I if this car gets messed up, it's gonna be on my hands, not in not somebody else's. So that's when I took it upon myself in the building my own car and doing my own work. If I'm an experiment, I'm an experiment on my own personal vehicle. And went through the trial and error. I got tired of like throwing mods at this car and like hoping I make power. So instead of hoping, I wanted to make power. So I studied the concepts. What did I need to know? Learn from the mistakes that happened. What caused the mistakes to happen? And I embraced it into the bills that I did from fur from that point on. And it's been Nothing but success for me since then. So that's what the whole failure to success came about. So from there, I did the, uh, with that same block, I did an XP build. It lasted maybe 350 miles and I spun a bearing. So then uh, Hellboy went through a phase where I literally had it down to a shell. Uh, I almost scrapped it. And um, <clears throat> when I scrapped it, well, I didn't scrap it, but when I almost scrapped um, it, it, how would you say, it It almost was gone. But I didn't have the money to get a motor for and all this other jazz. But something that looked for it up and uh, I was able to start messing with it again but I knew whatever I was going to put in it was going to make some good power so I wanted to do an IS4 build my mom was made up so I ended up getting the transmission and I started acquiring parts to get it done then I got the TVS 2300 that was supposed to have been in here and then something happened in between jobs I had to sell that so then I was like alright we're just going to do the best we can do with a Gen 5 because I had the whole IS4 set up but I didn't have a motor. So the plan was I was going to have a built block. Well, money didn't run right for that. I ended up having the L26 that I had from a parts car. I got talked into using that block, which is currently the motor that's in here now. So built that motor. I went to the dyno like maybe three times before I reached that goal of 414. And uh, the L26 did it. But the L26 took its toll, the rings went out. So because of what that block did, that motor made me what I am. I couldn't give up on that block. I almost did, but I'm glad I didn't. So I took that block and got it built and it's still in this car. And that motor will stay in this car. That motor is like my masterpiece. Is yeah. So just thought I'd give you the little story. And Hellboy got his name because of uh let me see if I can block most of that off. Wait a minute. That's why. But there you go. Now you know why Hellboy got his name. The last three digits of the van. Um, so what I'm going to do from here is uh, I'm going to give you a slideshow of uh, all the pictures I can gather from when I first got Hellboy to now where it's at. So you can see the full story of 
the whole process of this car being what it is today. And uh, just thought I'd put something like this out here just so you'll know um, the story of Hellboy and why this car is um, holds dear to me. Um, so I'll catch you guys on the next vid. Enjoy the slideshow. Moderate Mark Productions.